there's a new update to ZBrush and lots of cutting involved. All right, so this is just kind of my first impressions. So I just have this Dynamesh sphere that I dropped in. How to get to the knife brushes, you're gonna press brush or B. And then if I press K on my keyboard, boop, we have C and L, knife curve, knife lasso. What I prefer is control shift, and then this is gonna take me to all of these brushes like slice, curve, clip, curve, things like that. So control shift, let's go ahead and grab knife curve. So Michael Pavlovich, you know, he said, this is a game changer and I 100% agree with him. Take a look at this, control shift, and we're just gonna slice through this. We know what's gonna happen. This is kind of like clip curve if you just make a straight line. And clip curve works just fine in most cases for making a straight line. I'm gonna turn off symmetry, hold control shift. And then if I double tap alt, I'm just double tapping alt each time. I I want to uh, change directions, do something crazy like that and let go. This has done that cut, that knife very, very well, but it's giving me quads on the inside. That's fantastic. Let's go ahead and cut it this way too. Control shift, double tap. Damn, look at that. That is fun, but it, it works phenomenally well. This is this is really, really awesome. For hard surface, for anything, really, anything you need, these sharp edges, these sharp shapes, and obviously it gives me these poly groups here. That is awesome. So complete control. So the second thing is very similar. Let's go ahead and undo just a few times and control shift. I'm gonna do knife lasso. So very similar, but when I do this, I have this lasso that works phenomenally well. Like. I'm so impressed at how well these knife tools work. Most times, whether it's Blender or ZBrush, you have this tool and the idea is great, but then it just doesn't work very well. Go ahead and do just something like that. And it just seems to work. I'm sure it's not perfect, but man, is it close getting these crazy kind of shapes. And I'm super, super excited about it. It's great to have a tool. And I'm excited to actually use this in my workflow. I love how simple it is, how it works every single time. Man, it, it's, it's a lot of fun. I honestly saw this and was like, Ugh, that's not that big a deal. It's a big deal. So definitely check it out. It's a lot of fun.